welcome back. Okay, so let's talk sleep. So a couple of things happen when we're sleeping. Our bodies repair itself. If you have been working out, uh, need your muscles to repair, that happens while you sleep. Your body kind of hits a reset button, if you want to call it, as you sleep. So quality of sleep is key. Now, how you get quality sleep? Have a bedtime. If you set one for your kids, you need to set one for yourself. Be realistic. When I mean have a bedtime, that doesn't mean that you climb in bed and you turn on the TV or start sending emails from your telephone or any of that type of stuff. It's legitimately you climb in bed and you turn off, okay? So if you have things to do and you have to get stuff done before you get in bed, make that happen, but create a bedtime. The consistency of you going to sleep at a certain time every day, keyword here is consistency. Your body will start to adapt to that and you will be able to fall asleep better consistently. So get in a nice routine, know what works for you. And when I say that, I mean, if you generally go to bed, these are all examples. If you generally go to bed like at 1030 at night and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm gonna do nine o'clock and you do everything that you should do. You're not having any electronics or any of that type of stuff. But at nine o'clock you are jumping in bed and you're like, bing. I'm not sleeping <laughs> and it just isn't working for you. Well, you know what? Nine o'clock might be not the right time for you. Maybe you need like 9.15, okay? So winding your body down can take place in a couple of different fashions. You can try yoga, try meditation, try diaphragmatic breathing. If you don't know how to breathe right, meaning up here is rescue breathing, down here is diaphragmatic breathing, learn how to diaphragmatic breathe. Trust me, it'll do you a world of good. I have a video on YouTube. <laughs> Go to it and watch it. It's like a three minute video. But practice those things and you'll find that your body can learn to shut down a little bit quicker, okay? So six to eight hours is generally a good amount of sleep. If you're getting less than six hours, your body, your body truly needs more. Okay, moving on. Water, hydration. I love water. <laughs> so how much water? Simple thing, take your scale weight divided in half, and that's how many ounces of water you should consume on a daily basis. Okay, so I know there's naysayers out there for water. I don't like water. I don't like how it tastes. Water doesn't have a taste, okay? If you need to put something in your water so it does have a flavor, so you will like it, just make sure that it's not sugar and there's no caffeine. If what you're drinking has sugar and caffeine, you can't classify it as water consumption. Okay? So scale weight divided in half. That's how many ounces you should drink. Now, if you're a fat loss client, you need to actually add about 10 more ounces of water to that top number. Your body will consistently be processing the water that you're drinking, which means your metabolism is working, which is a win-win, because we want our metabolism working. 
and the more your metabolism works, the more you're gonna burn fat, okay? So drink your water. It's gonna make you feel fuller longer. So if you're trying to cut down on food portions, which is the next category we're gonna talk about, water helps fill those little crevices of the expanded stomach that you actually created by over consuming. When we need to get our stomach from this size back down to this size. So from that, I'm gonna jump right into food. Food, it's your energy. Food is fuel, just like gas is to your car. You put gas in it, it makes it go. You put food in your body, it makes you have energy so you can go. So the better quality food you put in yourself, the better you're gonna feel. That whole saying, you are what you eat, is true. <laughs> put quality in you, you're gonna feel better. Put junk in you, you're gonna feel it happens. That's what it is. So here we go. Hand portion. That's the size of quantity of food you should be eating as a female. That's a male. They get two hands. Females, you get one. So everything I'm going to explain is in female portion. Men just double it. Okay. All right, the palm of your hand, not mine, your hand, the thickness of it, that is your protein. A cupped hand is going to be your rice, your pasta, yes, pasta, not a plateful, okay? So all of your carbohydrates, cupped full. Your fist is your fruits and vegetables, also known as carbohydrates. So it doesn't mean that you can eat an unabsorbent amount of vegetables because you're gonna expand your stomach. So if you have done, which one is it? Jenny Craig, if you've done Jenny Craig, and it's zero points and you can have as many as you want, I'm telling you no, because that food has to go somewhere in your stomach and that's gonna expand your stomach again. So we're trying to shrink your stomach back down to the size that it's supposed to be. So you need to eat the quantity that you're supposed to, to get the stomach size back to normal. All right, so your fruits and vegetables, good fats. The oils that you cook with do count. Your avocado, yes, avocado, not the whole thing, not half. <laughs> it's your thumb size. Okay, moving on. Nuts, seeds, all of that good fats. So what happens if you overeat in good fats? Turns into bad fat. Too much of something good turns to bad. Sorry, that's the reality. All right, so that is our sleep, our water, and our food. Three main components of a better healthier you.